Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Today's tutorial is a paint pour, uh, acrylic pour with PVA glue I used as the pouring medium. So I mixed um, two parts of uh, PVA glue into one part water and um, I'm using my Americana paints. Um, I'm using fuchsia pink, yellow and blue for this paint pour. I've already pre-mixed my colors and what I did was I added uh, one part paint and the same amount of my homemade pouring medium and I've got a really good consistency with this. There's no lumps and it flows very nicely so I think this is going to end up really nice. And um, I've never used PVA glue before in my um, paint pores or my fluid art and so this is something new and I'm excited to share this with you. So I'm going to add um, my silicone of course and give it a mix into each of my cups. I'm using a 20 by 20 uh, canvas and I just hope I have enough paint to cover it. Um, I don't really know how this is going to end up but let's see. So. I mean, you know what, it's always trial and error and I love experimenting and I really um, am intrigued um, to see how the PVA glue is going to turn out and what it actually does. So I'm going to do a flip cup as, um, uh, you know, as normal and I'm, I'm going to add all my colours, all my paint into one cup and I'm dropping it from a height so that it goes right to the bottom and the paint's um, you know got cut through each other so the white there all of it and the last one the blue in this um, tutorial I'm also going to show you my first time trying to use a, um, a torch to torch for cells but I don't think it does anything for me unless I'm not doing it correctly. So here it goes. I'm going to flip the cup and ooh, I can already see some nice interesting stuff going on. And I love how the, uh, the colors have spread out into each other and cut through each other and there's streaks of colors flowing through the whole flip. I don't feel like really tilting this but I'm gonna have to because the paint hasn't reached the ends. But I'm gonna try and not waste a lot of paint so I'm gonna tilt it just gently and make sure that the ends and the sides of my canvas get the paint as well. quite an interesting uh, effect that I've got here. It's pretty different to what I've achieved in my previous paint pours where I've not used PVA glue. So I'm not actually quite sure what the PVA glue does but I really like this effect. It's very nice and soft and the cells are there but they're not too many and I love the way the colours have merged and and you can only see that the blue is kind of on one side but it does have the yellow and the pink whereas the pink and the white are on their own okay I'm gonna use my torch and see if there's any activity that happens yeah I can see some cells popping up I'm not gonna torch it too much just in case I ruin it or I burn my canvas but yeah, I'd love to hear, you know, any suggestions or comments on maybe how I can get some more cells out of uh, a pain pool and what is the right way of getting those cells. So if anyone has any ideas, maybe just leave me a comment and let me know. So there's the close-up look and I love it. 
it's very different I, I'm just gonna wait and see what it looks like when it dries completely and I'll share that with you uh, when my uh, canvas is dry but thank you so much guys for joining me today let me know how this um, experiment went this was my first time trying the uh, PVA glue trying out the torching as well and I really enjoyed it I love the outcome I love how it looks so let me know don't forget to like if you did like this video don't forget to subscribe and share thank you so much for joining me today until my next video stay blessed take care bye Thank you.